What's going on guys, it's Kevin from Fashion Forward. Always, I'm here with sort of my closet clear out video, I suppose. Um, so yeah, uh, I've just been feeling a sort of like a disconnect from my clothes and I, so I just feel like I need like a refresh. Like I need to clear out like the bulk of my closet and just start over. I know that seems sort of counterintuitive, but I'm gonna try it out. So yeah, let's get into it. So basically what I did is I wrote it in this bad boy. My little, little Ching Chong notebook. Okay, so I basically just gave myself some guidelines. Um, You guys don't have to do the same thing, but this is just sort of like a personal journal slash clean up your damn closet type of thing um so like since i live in fairly hot weather i only kept one outerwear um i'm keeping 10 tops and that includes like t-shirts sweaters hoodies and stuff like that i'm holding on to five uh bottoms which is i think pretty versatile like because i have a few bottoms that kind of overlap but i like the colors of them etc yeah so i'm keeping 10 tops five bottoms and one outerwear. So um, let me get into the stuff that I'm keeping and the stuff that I'm letting go. So I just brought on over the stuff that I'm keeping. Um, also, this excludes like workout gear and um, my work gear. Well, gear, more like my work clothes. I exclude those because um, those are kind of like, I, I don't wear them every day, but they're sort of essential in a way. So these are just casual and like going out clothes. So I'm keeping this reigning champs tee, just their basic gray uh, crew neck. Um, this has to be my favorite crew neck of all time. Uh, this has lasted me like over, like I've had um, the Uniqlo Supima cotton tees and this one held up like three times more because I had to buy three separate gray Supima tees and they just kept on breaking down on me. So I'm kind of vigorous on my t-shirts. Next one is something that my girlfriend got me. She got me a vintage like Tigger um, crew neck sweater. I, I think it's just kind of cute. Like it's nice to have like a versatile wardrobe. You can just wear this, look like a cute little K-pop star instead of always being edgy tech lord. Another thing is something that I just really like. It's a recent pickup. It is um, a crew neck from uh, T by Alexander Wang. I know they get a lot of shit for not being worth it, and it definitely isn't worth retail price, but I think on the second hand market, they do, they do go for pretty decent prices. I do like this. Um, the main reason I like it is because like this cuff just reminds me of like a stingray sort of detail. They also have that on right here, the bottom of the crew neck itself. I just like the ribbing of it, basically. Another one is from Hidden Characters. This is definitely gonna come in handy when I go to San Diego for college. It is the Reflections hoodie. The front has Hidden Characters kind of embroidered, and on the back, cool little graphic. Their hoodies are super thick, but they also tend to be pretty limited. I'm still trying to find my old hidden character stuff, but I can't find any. If anybody wants to hit me up with some stuff, let me know. Here is my recent Cavem pickup from this season. It is the crew neck. I'm still like iffy, but I still do want to wear this a bit more. Like the reason why I'm thinking about maybe moving this onto um, the let go, the let go side is because it's just black and white. Like I feel like I need to have more color in my wardrobe. So that's why I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should let it go, but I do like the quality a lot and I do like the print. Um, so I'm still debating on whether or not I should keep it or not. I don't know, but so far it is in the keep zone. Next up, I have another Hidden Characters piece. It is their Tangled Color Black Tee. I really like the back graphic and the bottom of it. It has something printed there and then it has a tag stitched. I'm a big fan of hidden characters if you guys haven't noticed uh, their tees are pretty nice um, They aren't the softest tees, but I do think they are one of the most uh, Durable I guess durable tees that I've had next up is a John Elliott just a plain gray crew neck I just like gray. I don't, I don't ah, I'm such a fuck boy. It's all black white and gray. Yeah, I have another 
John Elliott from season seven. I'm actually selling one of mine because I have two of these and I thought I'd just let you guys have one of them. Um, by the way, all, all the stuff that I am going to be talking about in a little bit is gonna be on my grill, which is in the description below, so check that out. Next up is my undercover brain damage tea from this season. I kinda wish I kept my moon tea, but I felt like it was a bit excessive just carrying two teas, so I just let the moon tea go for a really nice price. So the last teas are these two, and I am actually not including the one that I'm wearing right now. I think I put like 11. I think I put 11 tops, so I might take one out, but I'm pretty shitty at planning, sorry. So here are the bottoms I'm gonna be holding on to. It is um, some Gap uh, gray, heather gray trousers that I tapered and cropped. They fit pretty nicely and I do need it for like semi, semi formal um, attire, you know, like going out to dinner with my girlfriend, etc. Next I have tapered and um, cropped, well not like super cropped, but I just tapered and tailored them. It is a pair of H&M denim that I've had for the longest time and it's still holding up. I just think I need a pair of denim in my wardrobe rather than it just being all like synthetic fabrics and stuff. So I have my Uniqlo dry cropped trousers, you know, that I live and die by these pants. They're so comfortable and they're like such a nice fit. And my last one are the Enfant Enfant Lever. I hate saying their fucking name. Um, so they're Uteri um, trousers, so I got them tapered and cropped by them, and this is an Aoku belt. Review and giveaway coming soon. Uh, watch out for that. It's within like two weeks or so. So those are my bottoms, and the one piece of outerwear, let me go get it, that I am planning to keep is this. It's just a vintage bomber. I might be adding a few patches and like kind of seeing if I can distress this a little bit, but it's just a vintage bomber. I've had it for like six, seven years, and it's sort of nostalgic because I've had it since like, I don't know, like freshman year of high school and it's already been so damn long. So it's, it's just a really nice big bomber. It reminds me of a lot of the bombers recently because a lot of them are like super puffy and cropped and like not all of them have that like neck like that. This is more of like, it goes pretty up on my neck. It keeps my neck warm. So now we're getting to the part where this is the shit that I am selling right now. So um, I think all the grail listings should be up by the time this video is uploaded. Here are the stuff. I'm gonna be going over them in um, from tops, outerwear, and I don't think I have any bottoms for sale. Yeah, I think it's just tops and outerwear. So first up is a Cav Amp long sleeve theories of anxiety. It is sort of an old Cav Amp piece. I actually got it from Grail themselves. They were holding a little um, pop-up shop type of thing with a store called Icon New York. Um, really cool store. They carry a lot of dope brands. Um, so I just got this. Super nice long sleeve. I just don't like how it fits on my body. So that's why I am selling it. Right now, I've only worn it, I think, once or twice. So, I've only worn it once or twice, so it's gonna be exact condition as Grail sent it to me. Next up is a maroon John Elliott tea. It is of like a maroon like slash wine. It's a very nice tea. Um, there's like little to no wear. There's actually like no visible wear at all. It's just very smooth, very soft. If you guys need this color for fall winter, just hit me up. Um, it should be up. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram for a cheaper price. Just It's at kevin.img. So next up is a John Elliott, I think it's called a co-mix or something. It's like a co-blend of two different materials. Let me go check what they are. I believe they're like modal and something else. I believe it's cotton and polyester. It has this like interesting texture to it. It's like, I don't know, like it's not like your basic cotton tea. It's very textured, it's very nice. It is their Mercer tea, so it does have that split hem at the end. Uh, so hit me up. Next up is an Acne Studio tea, actually. So here is their face tea. I've had this for a while. Um, I like it, I really do like it, but I feel like my wardrobe's changing and I just don't wear this as much. It has a a small little dot up front. It's like you can't even see it. I'll have uh, product pictures in the grilled uh, listing itself. Next up, I'm sadly letting this go even though I just got it in. It is the Hidden Characters Rest in Peace Hype Beast 
t-shirt. I didn't originally plan to resell this. Um, it's basically to commemorate the ending of Hypebeast forums where hidden characters basically started posting. I, I honestly love this t-shirt. I just don't think I'm able to hold on to it because I just have too many t-shirts and I guess this has to be one of the ones that I let go. I literally just got this in, which sucks. Here is something from Uniqlo. It is the Uniqlo pigment tee. Um, I just kind of wish I had like a double XL because this is an XL in women's which fits like a men's large but the only issue that I have is that it's a little bit short on me. Um, so if any of you cute girls or cutie anime girls want to wear this and like have it be oversized as shit, you know, your boy, your boy, <laughs> fucking dude, I'm advertising my fucking shirt, man. I feel like such a salesman. So another one is Acne Studios. It's the iconic I want more graphic on this tee. I love the neck on this tee, but I just find myself wearing this less and less because I'm getting into more, I guess, I don't know, like I'm just changing up my style. So I had this for a while, Acne Studios, I want more. There is no stains, no rips on it. It's in like immaculate condition and yeah, go get it. Next up is another John Elliott tee. It is their Mercer tee in just a basic white. If you guys want this for a steal, DM me. I actually have the crew neck version of it. So it's just a white crew neck. The one before was a Mercer tee. Now lastly, I just bought this from Forino. Yeah, so it is basically, it's a super heavy fucking hoodie. Um, it is their Japanese exclusive hoodie. So they made it super thick and the fit of it's sort of different, except Forino dyed it to make it look like the plague hoodie. So right here on the back, it has that cab amp embroidery right there. And he dyed it so that, yeah, I think I just said it. It looks like the play hoodie and also the text is different and the sleeves are black. Um, I've only worn this like once or twice because it's pretty hot in California. And if you guys want it, just let me know because I'm willing to let this go for the price that I paid for. The only little caveat issue is that Frino forgot to let me know that he didn't like finish stitching it. So that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth, but whatever. I'll, I'll end up sewing it tight before I send it out. So if you guys ever do want this, it's a super nice hoodie, super rare. Um, and Farina wore it and I wore it once or twice. Now going on to outerwear, the two outer pieces that I'm selling is an acronym Nemen jacket. It is their J43K in a dark olive. Um, it does have a little bit of wear, but you can check the product pictures that I put up on Grailed. It's actually in pretty damn good condition. Um, and also, I think it's one of the cheapest ones on Grailed right now. And I just like the olive color. I just can't, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to style this very well. And I feel like someone else could do it even more justice. Last one is a Cavamp tan pullover. This is from Spring Summer 13, I believe. It is a reflective pullover, so if you shine 3M on these, the dots will light up. Um, the dots did have some wear, so it does look like it has faded a little bit, but it's still in pretty decent condition. The other one on Grail, there are like no dots whatsoever. So this has at least decent amount of dots, both on the sleeves, etc. Um, the 3M just kind of washes off, you know, like after you put it in the laundry or dry clean, it just kind of disappears after a while. It has this nice embroidering on the back and this nice print. The zippers actually really impressed me. The Vizlon zippers, they're super smooth and they're super nice. So if you guys want this, let me know. So yeah, that's basically me cleaning out my closet. Um, I already uploaded a bunch of my shoes onto Grail. I'm gonna start taking some of those down because I will be keeping onto the stuff that doesn't sell. So within a week, I should be taking down um, at least most of the shoes. So if you guys do want them, hit me up on Instagram for a cheaper price. And yeah, sorry, it's been a long ass video. I know I'm just rambling on, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as I mentioned, Aoku bag review and the Enfin Leave um, Utri cargo bottoms review coming soon. I've been saying that for a month, but I'm learning After Effects, so bear with me. I'm trying to make better content, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.